speed. More speed. A lot more. U.S. new insane hypersonic jet shocked the world. If speed doesn't solve a problem, more speed will. That appears to be the motto of the world powers every few decades. From subsonic to supersonic to hypersonic and to Sonic the Hedgehog, any time the invincibility of a military force was questioned, higher speeds have always been the answer. And it's no different today. World powers, China and the United States, are at loggerheads with each other, battling it out for the crown. Like clockwork, the two nations, backed by trillion-dollar economies, have set their goals on the one-speed category yet to be conquered, hypersonic speeds. Moving at hypersonic speed means moving at least one mile per second, which is outrageously fast. Throw maneuverability into the mix and world powers have military assets that are truly unstoppable. But there's a huge dilemma that they must solve first. Hypersonic speeds are so invincible that they can multiply a military's might in various ways. China has focused on hypersonic missiles that air defense systems cannot stop as they fly towards their targets, while the U.S. has its eyes on hypersonic fighter jets that air defense systems cannot stop as they fly close enough to launch conventional weapons. Both paths are quite formidable, but up against each other, which one would win? China's hypersonic missiles or America's hypersonic jets? Hypersonic Missiles versus Hypersonic Jets Hypersonic missiles and hypersonic jets offer roughly the same level of invincibility in the sky, which is combining speed and maneuverability to evade defense systems. To determine which is more dominant on the field, focus will be on departments other than speed and maneuverability, such as cost, reusability, and whether they are subscribed to this channel or not, which you should be, by the way, According to the Pentagon, hypersonic missiles should cost around $100 million, up against billion-dollar aircraft carriers, submarines, or entire enemy cities. That's a fair attack-to-destruction proportion, but up against less costly assets, such as fighter jets, small military bases, and other missiles, a $100 million price tag begins to look unsustainable for an asset whose destiny is to be destroyed. Hypersonic jets, according to American defense company Hermaeus, can cost around $100 million too. At a similar price point to hypersonic missiles, these hypersonic jets offer hypersonic speeds, the versatility that comes with a wide array of weapons, and decades of use. However, the weapons they fire have a higher chance of interception than hypersonic missiles because they fly at supersonic speeds. In the end, like virtually every advanced military asset, it all boils down to the trade-offs militaries are willing to accept. One-time-use hypersonic missiles may be invincible in their strikes, but they are likely to be used only against worthy targets. This is why China plans to use them as nuclear weapons. Hypersonic jets, on the other hand, come with a more regular use, albeit at the cost of less invincible strikes. For the U.S., less invincible strikes seem to be worth it. This is why Hermaeus is building a new American hypersonic jet that fits the cost profile, has enough real estate to pack an arsenal of weapons, and travels at the speed of the gods, a jet known as Quarter Horse. Quarter Horse Quarter Horse is the name of the aircraft Hermaeus offers to boost the U.S. military's hypersonic capabilities. It is the first aircraft of the startup company and is looking to break the decades-old speed records set by America's legendary SR-71 Blackbird. If all goes to Hermaeus's plan, the Quarter Horse would soon be the fastest aircraft on the planet. And thanks to its huge size, coupled with a half-military, half-conventional manufacturer, Quarter Horse currently stands as the closest thing to a commercial hypersonic jet of the future. Hypersonic speed travel would no longer be a novel ability reserved for military pilots alone, but also us conventional folk. Putting the wishful thinking aside, Quarter Horse is primarily a military jet or prequel to one, complete with the weapons, afterburning engines, and everything in between. The U.S. Air Force and NASA have both invested in Hermaeus as it attempts to crack into the hypersonic realm. 
NASA's exact investments aren't widely known, but the Air Force put forward $60 million for the test flight of the Quarter Horse. And this isn't the first time the Air Force would be investing in the startup. Roughly a year before the latest $60 million investment, they also conjured up a $1.5 million contract for Hermaeus to continue its work on hypersonic travel after the company successfully tested its engine prototype in February 2020. Hermaeus' homemade TBCC engine, slated to power the Quarter Horse, is known as Chimera. In a 2022 test that took place at the Notre Dame Turbo Machinery Laboratory, which provides heated air to simulate high mock temperatures and pressures, Chimera's ability to power the quarter horse was confirmed. At low speeds, Chimera would operate in turbojet mode, powered by the General Electric J8521 engine, which can produce up to 5,000 pound force of thrust. As the temperature and the speed of the incoming air increase and the turbojet begins to near its performance limit between Mach 2 and Mach 3, the ramjet takes over propulsion to keep the aircraft accelerating to hypersonic speeds. As a result, Quarter Horse will reportedly have a top speed of over Mach 4, a flight ceiling of 80,000 feet, and an operational range of about 517 miles. To handle the stress that comes with such speeds and altitude, the Quarter Horse has a titanium alloy primary structure, and to keep its risk at a minimum, the jet will be operated remotely, meaning it doesn't need to have a pilot in its cockpit. While this may seem like some science fiction tech of the future, the maiden flight of the Quarter Horse is already around the corner. In fact, it was nearly planned to take to the skies in 2023, but a postponement could move that by a few months. The Quarter Horse is a continuation of America's unrivaled dominance in the hypersonic realm. A reminder that, despite near-peer rivalry with hypersonic technology, the U.S. stands boldly at the top. But the Quarter Horse doesn't get all the credit. There are more aircraft behind the scenes that have made sure no nation can catch up with the U.S. None can catch the U.S. America's hypersonic capability traces back to the one company things like this always trace back to, Lockheed Martin, and the hypersonic aircraft they built 60 years ago, the SR-71 Blackbird. SR-71 Blackbird The SR-71 Blackbird was the result of a secret black project that would introduce the world to the dominance that came with the combination of stealth and speed. The jet is 92% made of the strongest metal ever discovered, titanium. It was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J58 engines, producing 32,000 pounds of thrust each. These engines were responsible for the blurry hypersonic top speed of Mach 3.2 and its record altitude of 85,000 feet. This altitude record hasn't been broken to this day, and for context of how high up that is, the SR-71 pilots had to wear pressurized suits like astronauts do because they were very nearly in space. Unrivaled globally in how fast it could travel and how high, the SR-71 was the go-to strategic reconnaissance aircraft for the U.S. Air Force, CIA, and NASA. The jet justified this with a high mission success rate, even in missions when it was spotted by enemy radar. That's quite a feat for a jet that had no weapons. Apparently, it didn't need them. Should the jet come under fire, no bullet, missile, or lightning was fast enough or could climb high enough to take it down. After a rich 35 years of service, the SR-71 was retired. However, the invincibility it offered is once again needed, and so Lockheed Martin, rivaling Hermaeus and its quarter horse, began work on a new hypersonic aircraft, the SR-72 Son of Blackbird. SR-72 Son of Blackbird Lockheed Martin is developing the SR-72 to be everything its predecessor was and more. Unlike the SR-71, the SR-72 could have the widest array of weapons, from guns to missiles and even laser-directed energy weapons. Capable of reconnaissance and surveillance like its predecessor, the aircraft would feature highly sensitive intelligent gathering sensors and the sharpest cameras to take photos that are almost 100 miles away. The SR-72 will reportedly have a top speed of Mach 6, about twice the top speed of the SR-71. This high supersonic speed of the SR-72 is made possible using a combined cycle turbofan scramjet engine developed by a team of Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne. 
A similar engine setup was used in the Blackbird, giving Lockheed Martin about 30 years of experience with this type of engine. The company also has the backing of NASA, which has already invested $1 billion in the development of the SR-72 and could contribute technologies never seen on atmosphere-based aircraft. The U.S.-China rivalry rages on reaching new heights, breaking new grounds, and exceeding all speed limits. Hypersonic missiles and hypersonic jets are the assets of choice to help win the rivalry and put it to rest once and for all. Which nation will win? There are only two ways to find out, by subscribing to this channel and giving this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.